Hello Virgo and welcome to your weekly energies for July 19th through 25th, 2021. We are going to look at your general energies, what's going on for you guys this week, and then we will do a second reading to look at your love energies. So this is going to be a week of a big energy shift because we have the sun moving into Leo, we have the full moon in Aquarius, and we have Venus moving into your sign, Virgo. So this is definitely a week of feeling the emotional body and really experiencing everything from that space. So let's roll the astro dice and see what influence is the strongest for you this week. Ooh, we've got Saturn. So lessons of the heart coming to a completion here for you guys and that's good you know with this energy the sun is shifting out of cancer into leo which makes things lighter and there are my cat goes she has just been such a little nuisance um as i've been trying to sit down here to read but she has graced you with your presence and look at that she uh moved the dice so yes some emotional lessons that you've been going through are coming to a completion this week Virgo and that's a big relief because you know the Sun moving from cancer into Leo is a shift um, out of like lower vibration emotions into higher vibration and it's not like cancer's negative and Leo's positive it's like um, through cancer you're seeing the underside of something the the shadow okay and as the Sun moves into Leo it's now we go to the other side of the spectrum to see something from a very positive point of view healing coming in um, illumination with that full moon and Aquarius and then Venus moving into your sign is just really softening your heart this week Virgo so let's pull you a card for overall energy with the Saturn oh and you know what she flipped you guys um, over to Jupiter yes Jupiter is positive energy she when she came up here she took you from Saturn to Jupiter so yes blessing coming in after a lot of heartache through some relationship lessons and that could be family friend romance relationship with self all right oh yes look at that we've got death it's the completion Virgo you have gone through some really heavy stuff emotionally attached to relationships and this week it's like you're finally going to reap the benefits of all that work all that struggle all that challenge um, feeling a lot of relief as well so Saturn the heavy stuff really coming to an end this week Virgo and you feeling so much better and happier about things in your life And that's a major arcana too you know and interesting because uh, the Sun is leaving cancer and entering Leo so the death of cancer season and the birth of Leo season that's what I'm seeing for you guys where emotions have been heavy and low finally you're feeling light and you're feeling free and uh, we've got quite a few uh, cards that jumped out look at movement is coming in this week spirit of place uh, you finally feeling like you can relax within yourself within your life within your situations that you've been going through the gentle gardener you're moving into a new season Virgo and it's time to cultivate new goals new dreams and look at this compass your intuition is going to be very much on point this week especially those of you that have felt very disconnected from intuition and now we have a flying which is some really good happy energy all right um, this is two this is card 20 so that's twos second chances new beginning here um, and 550 sits in between which is challenges and change so Virgo this week is a beautiful turning point out of Saturn energy lessons heaviness karma and moving in to much lighter energies, Jupiter, blessings, higher spiritual understanding and knowing. 
and it raises your energy so much. You have movement with flying, so feeling really stuck, uh, feeling like you're just taking one day at a time, really just trying to get by, especially around a relationship, okay, that has just caused a lot of friction inside of you. It's like a new leaf has been turned over. All that heaviness is washing away. You are starting to rise. You're feeling good about yourself. Um, hope is returning. Optimism is returning. Feeling much more connected into your intuition. Feeling comfortable in your life, in your skin, in your relationships. So Virgo, this is definitely a week of major, major change and transformation for you guys. Out of heavy Saturn into spiritual light Jupiter. All right, let's pull some tarot and go deeper into these messages for this week. All right, Monday, Tuesday. We've got the Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands. Wednesday, Thursday, we have the Nine of Swords with Justice. Friday, Saturday, we've got the Lovers with the High Priestess. And Sunday, Wrapping up the week, we have the Two of Wands with the Ten of Swords. Look at that. Remember, the twos were significant. And as you end your week, you are wrapping up this cycle of this Ten of Swords energy that you've been going through that's attached to Saturn, which is some sort of lesson or karmic balance that you've been um, <coughs> excuse me, working through and dealing with. And this is you where we're leaving this right here which is representing the ten of swords this is what we are leaving behind this week virgo and you're stepping on a new path looking um, forward into the future feeling very optimistic about what's up ahead for you so this week is absolutely the game changer and by sunday it's like everything has happened and fallen into place for you and you have a new lease on life or you feel that you are headed in a new song strong a solid direction okay so Monday and Tuesday we have the ten of Pentacles with the seven of wands and Virgo this is um, some energy where you may have somebody trying to come in and borrow some money from you guilt trip you into um, lending them money or helping them out or doing some big favor for them and if Virgo you don't want to you don't have the resources Spirit's like you're under no obligation to offer anybody any assistance because I feel what's being asked is like a little bit too much, a little bit too big. This could be, you know, from a friend, from a family member, a romantic partner. Um, and some of you, this could be in the workplace where you've been taking on way too much responsibility and obligation that other people need to be handling. And Monday, Tuesday, it's like a bit overwhelming and I see you putting your foot down don't be afraid to put your foot down, Virgo. Um, stand up for yourself. If you're really being taken advantage of somewhere, it will have a positive outcome for you. But main message for Monday and Tuesday is Spirit is saying, you know, protect and guard what is most important to you, including your time, your energy, your emotion, or your resources. You are not obligated to do anything you don't want to, and you don't owe anybody a thing. Like, you truly don't. So don't feel guilted or shamed into anything. Um, the energy will pass. It's not your problem. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, this looks like when things really uh, come to completion for you in whatever area of your life that this Saturn has been working you hard. And like I said, I feel for most of you it's around uh, specific relationships and that's uh, confirmed with the lovers, but this is general, so this may be a different area of your life. But Wednesday, Thursday, it looks like when that completion of that cycle finally takes place, 
all energies balance out and you no longer feel in this place of anxiety, of worry, because you finally have the answer. You finally have the solution. The completion has taken place all as well. Friday, Saturday, you've got the lovers with the high priestess. And so this to me is a couple different messages. This is where your intuition is back on point and any decision that you've been struggling to make prior to Friday, Saturday, you're just going to know instinctively, intuitively what you've got to do and follow through on that because after this is resolved here um, and you've completed this Saturn energy, you're just in a different head space and heart space about things and you feel better. You feel in a place of relief. So any decision you've really been struggling to make by Friday, Saturday, you're just going to know from your soul what you need to do and there will be no more question about that. Also, for some of you, um, this is where after the week has played out, um, all the dust has settled, you really just want to be around people who are near and dear to your heart, who get you, um, whose energy you feel good and safe and comfortable in. Um, I see you kind of being more in hermit mode this week, Virgo, um, and it's not like a negative thing. It's like... Um, the storm has passed and you're like catching your breath and you're just enjoying the beautiful sun and the rainbow in the sky and you're happy and you're filled with gratitude and you're finally able to make some decisions and release this really heavy ten of swords energy and look forward into your future with a lot of optimism okay so Virgo really good things happening for you guys this week uh, that turning point that you've been waiting for getting out of that Saturn energy could affect any area of your life but very strongly highlighted for relationships so let's um, pull you one final card for this week and then we will get into your love and romance messages So that's your artwork and it says celebrate the seasons magic happens at all times of the year yes so the season of your life is changing you know um, Leo had a very similar message to this about you know the seasons of life so if you are a Leo moon or Leo rising or strong Leo placement in your chart check that reading out as well all right, Virgo, let's get into your love energies and see what is happening. What's going on for all Virgos in regards to love and romance for this week? Okay, a spiritual awakening journey. Things left unsaid and inescapable connection. All right, Virgo, um, this is a very specific message. This could be um, somebody that you are in a commitment with, you live with, you see every day, or you're in a commitment with, you don't have to live together, but it just uh, already existing relationships. Um, and then also, some Virgos out there, this is somebody that you've had a separation from, okay? Either way, you resonate with that this week. I feel either you or the person you're involved with or both of you have had an awakening about this relationship and this connection, and we're going to have a long overdue conversation. There's um, information that's going to be expressed that's never been shared before, like, I see uh, some of you guys really opening up, getting real, raw, and authentic with each other, like sharing your deepest, darkest secrets and um, things that have happened in your past that you don't tell anybody, you know, because um, oftentimes when we've gone through a lot of trauma, you don't want to talk about that. Like you skim over it, right? You don't get into the nitty gritty details. And that what I see here is that it's like that kind of conversation where you guys are getting into nitty gritty details about whatever it is that you're talking about and you both are coming from a heart 
place in this conversation and what's expressed needs to be expressed so existing connections you know there could be some tension some uneasiness that's been existing between you and your partner and this week um, because of all this shifting of you know energies Leo Sun going into Leo Aquarius full moon uh, Venus moving into your sign of Virgo like it's really um, activating it's awakening people to different aspects of themselves what they're feeling what they're thinking what they're going through and that's very strong here for you guys this week and so it's like through this awakening within where you guys are finally able to have a conversation and um, you are pulled back together closer now now, for those of you who are not um, in contact, you very well could hear from somebody this week, Virgo, and they just want to pour their heart out to you. They want to tell you all the things that they didn't say and like, I can't forget you and I'm realizing a lot of things about this connection or this is general, Virgo, this could go the other way around where you are really having this big awakening about somebody and uh, you're like, you know what, I want to get back to that person. I've got to speak my heart. I've got to speak my mind. That's what this is about. And it, there's like a desperation in this because of um, this awakening at the soul. It's like, oh my gosh, I, I've got to get this out. Like, I can't escape Virgo or Virgo. You feel like you can't escape this person. Okay, so there's a bit of eagerness, um, desperation to have this conversation to express heart and soul okay for those of you that are separated from somebody and they're coming back in and they're just like hey Virgo oh my gosh let me tell you how horrible it's been while I've been away from you let me count the ways for you um it's just a separation has woke somebody up deep down in their soul it's just not like they're having some thoughts or some feelings no their soul has been shaken and rattled okay and that's why they want to talk to you again all right let's pull some more cards Yeah, six of pentacles I've had major revelations look at he is trying to talk to her he is like hey look at me I've got so much to say and she has her back turned with her arms crossed with the seven of pentacles like um, I'm upset I'm sad and this is like give me another chance and this is very strong for separated or in union relationships it's like let me make this up to you something that's happened in the past like I I have um, this realization and now we have the five of Pentacles things left unsaid and these both jumped out so that means you get two for over here inescapable connection all right page of swords with the lovers here and you got the lovers coming through twice in your reading this week Virgo so it's definitely a week of healing um, in general life energies as well as in romantic energies and here it is an inescapable connection let me tell you how much I care for you how much I feel about you how I am you know looking at your pictures on my phone I am peeking in on your social media I'm watching you from a distance. I'm not far away. You know, I'm Googling your name. Uh, what's going on in Virgo's life? I want to get back in. I want to talk to you because I can't escape you. I can't escape this. And existing connections, um, yeah, it's just like you guys have been in a struggle of some kind. Could be financial for sure with um, all these pinnacles first coming out. And it's like we're in this struggle and it's caused a bit of a wedge within the relationship. And, you know, maybe some things happened. Maybe some things were said. Maybe we've really just been fighting and not on the same page. But this week, all this shifting of energy, you know, there's this awakening. And it's like, you know what? Can, let me make this up to you. Let me make up to you where I failed you in the past. And let me be a changed person here moving forward because you're all I want. You're all I need. I truly love you. I cannot leave you. I can't leave this relationship. Like, that's what I feel uh, together or separated. It's like, I can't leave this relationship. 
I've got to figure this out. I've got to get back to this. I've got to get it worked out. I've got to make up for my shortcomings of the past. Like that feeling just so strong and it's coming from the soul here. So Virgo, in regards to love and romance, definitely some major breakthroughs happening where somebody is just waking up to themselves and their bad behavior or just not giving, doing, and being enough. And if this is like a financial, you know, um, with the general energies that came out, there could be a big, beautiful change financially for you or for your partner this week. And that's why energies can finally settle out because you guys aren't so worried and anxious about money, okay? At least for this week, like something comes in and it really takes a big weight off of you guys, okay? So those are your messages for this week, Virgo. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.